Hello, welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new to my channel. I am Shelly, and I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, and eBay, and you can find all of my stores as well as my Instagram and here on YouTube under Shell Belt Posh, and I will have everything linked below if you want to check out any of those or um, just check out items that I'm selling and everything. You want to see what I'm listing these items at, but today we are at Savers, and we're going to do a little bit of a thrift with me, and hopefully we can find some good stuff. I have a 20% off coupon that I'm going to use. Um, I don't think I have any other coupons. Um, there's no coupon out right now, at least not for me and my email. Um, so I just have like a donated good 20% off coupon. So we're going to use that. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and go in. I started off in these shoes and I found this pair of Sam Edelman boots that I did end up picking up. So you will see those later in the haul. And I was right by the purses and saw this Kate Spade bag. It wasn't horribly priced, but just not in the greatest condition. So I did pass on that. And then I saw this cute pair of J. Crew like vintage little like flat heel kind of thing. Um, I would have picked those up at the bins, but not Savers pricing. Next, I went through Activewear Bottoms and I found quite a few items in there. I did pick up most of these, but I did leave a few behind. So I just went through this entire rack and I found probably about five things. So yeah, you really have to look hard to find good stuff. And then this skirt I thought was really pretty It is Eliza J and it was kind of new a tag. It had a TJ Maxx tag on it, but it was just like huge, like it was super puffy. So I didn't really want to store it. So I did leave it behind, but I thought it was a really cool piece. And then I saw this Diane von Furstenberg dress, but it was marked at $35 because it was new a tags um, retailed for about $350. And then I'm going to go through some shirts with you guys. So I was hoping to find some shirts, but I actually did not find any. I was going to try to like pull out the ones I was interested in. Um, but yeah, so my favorite sections in the thrift store is pants and jeans and activewear. And yeah, shirts, I don't know. I'm just not as excited to look through shirts. So let me know what your favorite section is. And the thrift store is um, I know a lot of people say that they really like looking through like shirts and dresses but those are just not really my favorite to look through I really prefer like the pants and jeans I feel like they are easier to look through there's usually not as many of them as well I thought this cabbie print was pretty but I didn't really pick up cabbie it has not really sold amazingly for me in the past so I did leave that behind but I liked the print of it a lot so yeah, let me know what your favorite section to look at in the thrift store is, what your section is that you go to first. I also like looking at shoes a lot, but yeah, so we're going to now go into the thrift haul. I am back from Saver, so I'm going to show you what I grabbed. Um, so yeah, I had my 20% off coupon. I found some pretty good stuff, so I'm going to show you. And I just got back, so I still have all of the like tags on everything. So I will show you the pricing of everything that I picked up. Okay, this first pair of pants is this plaid, like wide leg pant and kind of like a elastic waistband. And these are from Madewell. And I think they might be like new without tag maybe, but I'll probably just cut that off. And then these were only $6.49. Um, size medium and these are pretty recent. They're from fall 2022. So I was excited to find these and they're in really good condition. So I do think um, they are like new without tag possibly. And then I found one little accessory. I grabbed this coach bag. I'm fairly certain it's authentic. Um, I might need to do a little bit more research on it, but it does have this um, little leather tag and then it has um, a removable strap on here and it on the only like interior kind of thing is this little coach logo right here so yeah i'm gonna have to look this up i don't think it's like i do think it's vintage but i don't know how vintage so we will have to see oh there's like another um i don't know but the zippers look good um so because i know sometimes with fake like vintage coach it will the zipper pulls will say coach and they don't so i don't know we'll see i'll look this up 
Um, this was $10.99, so hopefully it's authentic and I can sell it for a decent amount, at least like 50. And then next piece is this dress, and this is Diane von Furstenberg. This is a size six, and it was $7.29. And this is a wrap dress, and it is a like checkered print, um, but then it has the little logo in here, which I think is cool. So throughout, there's the logo. I don't have it like wrapped up currently, but it is like a true wrap dress. This brand usually does decent for me. So um, I thought with the price, it's not a bad price. And usually the wrap style stuff does pretty well for me. Um, and this is kind of an interesting piece. So it is silk. And, but then like on the bottom layer, it's more like this sheer fabric which I thought was kind of cool. So I don't know if this is an older piece or a newer piece, but, and then it has like some little of those sheer ruffles and stuff. So I thought this was a cool piece and I will look it up. I had like no reception in this store, unfortunately. So I couldn't look um, a lot of stuff up. I was from fall 15, so actually not too old, but yeah, I grabbed that. I thought it was a cool piece. And as you saw in the thrift with me, um, they had just put out another, Diane von Furstenberg dress that was new with tags, but it was like 40 or 50 or something. I don't remember, but too much for me to pick up. Okay, next piece is a pair of leggings, and these are actually maternity leggings. The, bl the brand is um, Blanky. It's with a Q-I, and these are only $5.49, and these are the full-length ones. I actually found a pair of like a crop pair recently and they haven't sold yet um but usually this brand sells kind of quickly for me so i think maybe these will do better um since they are a full length so i grabbed those and then i think i showed this in the thrift with me um but this is a pair of universal standard they are the cooper jogger and they're a size large but universal standard it's like um, not vanity sizing, but they have like their own sizing kind of thing. So this is probably like a 1X maybe or a 2X. Um, but this is their um, game line from Universal Standard. And these were only $4.99. And then if I didn't say, they are also new with tag. So just this cool jogger. I was excited to find those. And then next, what are these? Oh, these are third love and these are a size 1x and it's kind of it's getting a little bit darker out and these again are like full length black leggings these were 649 and i've never sold any of the third love like clothing before or like activewear or anything so i was excited to find these to try out because i love selling third love um bras and stuff and then next piece, this is a skirt, and I'm actually going to be sending it into the Real Real. It is the brand St. John, and it is size 6. This was $6.99. Hopefully, I will at least like double my money by sending it into the Real Real. And St. John usually sells really quickly on the Real Real for me after I send it in. Um, but this is just like a silk little skirt. So I grabbed that. And then next piece is a pair of jeans and these are from Madewell. And these are actually new with tag. They are the stove pipe um, style. And yeah, they have that tag as well. And these are very new because they have the newest little label in here. Um, no longer says the um, date anymore on here. So yeah, but it still has the style number and everything, just not the date anymore. So that is means it is a newer piece but these are in size 26 and yeah new with tags and they were $7.99 so I think these are like a slim straight kind of fit and then they have a raw hem so I grabbed those and then next is another pair of made wall jeans so here are these these are the balloon style and they're in a size 22w so these are a plus size and these are only $6.99. And again, these are super new. So I grabbed these. Kind of like a relaxed wide leg fit. And I really like the color on this denim. So I was excited to find those. 
And then this is a new to me brand. So we'll see how it does. Um, but the brand is um, Bodily, Bodily Wear. And it says postpartum and breastfeeding solutions made with you in mind. So I looked um, this up and it looks like it retails for around 50. Um, some of their like bras do. So hopefully I can get an okay amount for this. And this was $4.99 and it was new with tag. So I grabbed this and this is a size large. And then next piece. This is the only men's piece I grabbed, and this is a pair of pants from the brand um, Public Rec. I've never found any of their pants. I found some of their shorts, and this is a size 42, 34, and these were $10.99, so I think one of the more expensive things I grabbed, but I'm excited to see how these do. I guess they're not like a jogger fit. They're more like a straight fit, but they're in good condition and just like a black athletic kind of sweat pant kind of thing so i grabbed those and then two more pieces of clothing and i think just shoes and that is it here is a long sleeve t-shirt and it has a little slit on the side and this is from lululemon and somewhere here it is yeah lululemon and this was only four dollars or 449 so i grabbed that and then the last clothing piece which i might try this on this is also lululemon this one was 6.99 um, but since i might keep it i decided to grab it still um, if not they will just sell it and this again is lululemon they don't have their rip tags in it um, but this is a striped tank top and then it like ties in the back so you can like untie it as well i thought that was cute so I grabbed that. And then the last item is this pair of boots. And these are from Sam Edelman. And usually I have sold a couple pairs of Sam Edelman boots that are like over the knee boots. They have sold very well for me. So like over a hundred. So I grabbed these. They weren't priced too bad. They were only $12.99 and they're in really good shape. They have interior zippers and they're like this faux snake skin print. I don't know the name of these. Usually it has the name, but I could not find it. I don't know if it's somewhere else. Usually it's like in here, but they're size eight. So I didn't know the size at least. And I can um, probably Google lens it or just like look it up. So yeah, I grabbed those that I'm excited to find. And that is everything that I picked up at Savers. And I hope you enjoyed. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of the prices as well. Um, the savers I went to was the one in Marlboro. And their prices are pretty good there um, compared to some of the other savers around. And so, yeah, I'm really happy with what I found. And I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you are not already. Bye!